As much as I'm enjoying my time in prison, I'm a little jealous of the folks who get to participate in the uprising that's happening right now. If I wasn't here, I'd probably be either on Wall Street or Freedom Plaza in D.C. But on November 6th, I would definitely be outside the White House to show Barack Obama how many people are committed to stopping the Keystone XL tar sands pipeline. There's a deep instinctual sense of intimidation that comes from being completely surrounded and that might be a healthy thing for our president right now. The date, one year before the election, should be a not-so-subtle hint to Obama that his job is on the line. Climate scientist James Hansen said that if this pipeline is built and the rest of the tar sands developed, it's game over for the climate. That means game over for any young person who would like a livable world to grow old in. If he's willing to risk game over for us, he should know that it will definitely be game over for his presidency. There's another reason to link hands outside the White House on November 6th. It's an opportunity to meet the people you will be linking hands with in front of a bulldozer if Obama actually signs off on this misguided pipeline. We know that the White House has had plenty of visitors from the fossil fuel industry who have been pushing Obama to allow the Keystone Pipeline. If any of these lobbyists happens to be paying a visit on November 6th, they will get a preview of the view from their bulldozers, all of you linking arms. The message should be clear that we are not giving up on our future, even if it's difficult. And we need a president with similar courage. Have fun storming the castle. Tim to Christopher.